I now give the floor to the Commonwealth Human Rights Initiative via Zoom. On behalf of the Commonwealth Human Rights Initiative, I thank the Special Rapporteur for her comprehensive report on the impact of coronavirus on the sale and sexual exploitation of children. Restrictions to curb the spread of COVID-19 have resulted in school closures across 188 countries, with approximately 1.6 billion children affected worldwide. We appreciate the Special Rapporteur highlighting how school closures and the shift to online teaching increase social isolation and unsupervised internet use, thus putting children at greater risk at the hands of those who seek to take advantage of these new vulnerabilities. Frontline civil society organisations from the Commonwealth People and Seven Network in both Asia and the Caribbean have reported increasing numbers of cyber sex traffickers targeting children during the pandemic. The universal ratification of the ILO's worst forms of child labour convention in 2020 was a significant milestone. However, data shows that only 57% of Commonwealth countries have criminalised child prostitution and only 70% have criminalised child pornography. States must align domestic legislation with international standards by fully criminalising these heinous practices and ensuring sufficiently stringent penalties to deter would-be perpetrators. We urge all states to continue to collaborate with civil society and international institutions to develop and implement timely sustainable solutions to achieve SDG targets 8.7 and 16.2. Time is running out. Thank you.